say the, you know, you mentioned uh, with respect to the state that the state could not, uh, uh, that after someone dies, you, their system is so rigid that you can't make changes because of the, uh, the death of the candidate. But I think that on your side, you, as the Chief Justice alluded to, you have a similar problem because the elector who had promised to vote for the winning candidate could suddenly say, you know, uh, I'm going to vote for Frodo Baggins, and that's, I really like Frodo Baggins. And you're saying under your system, you can't do anything about that. Your Honor, I, I think there is something to be done because that would be the vote for a non-person. Um, you know, no, no matter how big a fan many people are of Frodo Baggins. Th that said, I do think the important point is that the framers hashed out these competing concerns. They hashed it out in Philadelphia in 1787. They understood the stakes, and they said among these competing hypotheticals, electors are best placed to make the ultimate selection. That hasn't changed, Justice Thomas. Thank you.